I thought I'd make a quick video and show you how to grease your drive shaft. If you have a lifted vehicle, quite like you have a double carbon drive shaft, and um, it is quite important if you have a greasable drive shaft, which the most drive shafts really should be, that they're going to be greased um, every five to ten thousand kilometers. Uh, especially with the double carbon drive shaft, you have the obvious uh, external grease nipples, which are hard to miss. However, with a double carbon, you quite likely also have an inverted grease nipple inside here. Um, it is as important, or it is very important, to really grease this inverted nipple, and you need actually a special tool for that, or oh, special grease nipple, which I'll show you here. Fairly simple. So that goes on here. We'll be using a piece of wood to keep that joint open. Push in here and grease until you hear it pop. That was it. One squirt more. Took actually a little bit. Yeah, until you see the grease is coming out. Not too much. Okay, that was it. Now, I'm gonna remove that and pretty much grease all the obvious um, nipples. You can't actually over grease them, but obviously you don't want to have it all spreading out there. So we see we have a bit of excess grease here. We're going to wipe that off. Okay, having already grease coming out here, so it doesn't need that much really. You can break that grease nipples off, so be a little bit careful. One thing to consider is that you have to um, usually take off the drive shaft. You just can't um, access, or at least I can't on any of my trucks, the center grease nipple um, from if the drive shaft is still on the truck. So it's a bit of a pain in the butt, but um, every 10,000 Ks. Um, the drive shaft I'm using here is actually it's a heavy duty GBR Utah drive shaft. They only do Land Rover stuff and um, only use Spicer Dana components. So my preferred brand of drive shafts 